I do not know how did I get to do I know how. Okay, it just starts showing as the big trend on uh Twitter of Hollywood Diva. So the second episode must have aired tonight. Um so that but I was like, you know, I got there and I read after watching the first episode that Nisa Nash was trying to, you know, I'm like, okay, Nisa Nash, this is not hard. Okay, if you think this man here needs a, he, he needs work, it's a good idea. We looking forward to the show. Don't make us extra mad, okay, Nisa Nash. So get your little royalties to her. Go ahead and give her a little share because I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. I'm looking forward to this year. So I'm liking these, you know, I'm liking these little reality shows. I don't, I, I have not watched, um, uh, Love and Hip Hop, uh, Hollywood, or none of that, Real House, I haven't watched those, so, I was planning on doing, um, uh, what it is, the, uh, you know, SWV Reunited, got so y'all gonna hear about me talk about that, uh, y'all gonna hear me speak about Preachers of LA, I have plans to do that, I'm also talking about this pastor here that, that gave, that gave out the, the HIV to people, I'm gonna I'm doing several videos tonight, so y'all gonna get it all at once, so speak about this Hollywood diva, I see the film, and so Paula J. Parker, she has been, uh, playing a lot of movies, but she plays supporting acting roles, and usually, you know, you have so many portfolios before you start getting paid for supporting acting roles and stuff like that. Of course, you got to have good sponsors to really make the money. So, and, and she's playing some big major corporate films. So, she tells this story here about dating this production assistant. That's something you should just keep as a secret, a booty call. Um, I, I mean, because you can't... Mm -mm. But but it's good that he is there with her. That 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 is key. He's there because some of them get there and they be going on to the next healthy one, go live up in the projects with some woman instead of trying to help y'all get into some assisted. I mean, she thought it was a, she should have been able to know you know go to the housing authority or, or some housing program something, uh, or she should have. S something she was saying she had never been poor or something like that so why you couldn't go back to it or did your inheritance run out and your people deceased come on talk to me more um speak on Countess Vaughn Countess Vaughn I could have thought she had three children okay that was like before they did the life after on her she was, I, I thought she had just had I don't know. We were, so I see somebody abortion on next issue. She gonna talk about. Okay, we hear about that. But I could have thought she had. I, I thought, you know, and, and cause it was like after her first child, she got divorced. Cause you know what? She didn't never learn how to drive till. Oh, I remember she was twenty five or twenty. She was she was mid late twenties and she never learned how to drive. And I'm like, oh gosh. But she had was paying uh, her husband to take her out of drive and stuff like that. So. <coughs> her father is a mathematician, and you know that's how she got her name, Countess. And it's very interesting. It reminds me so uh, so much of you know someone I'm very you know acquainted with. Um, been knowing each other for about a decade, you know. So a very smart person. Um, and so I'm just like Countess. Can you count that? Being plastic is not major. She was like, she was like smart. You could tell from two two seven, like she'll be the person. Uh, but hey, you know, like Miss Morrow. Hey, hey, you know, a little angel pop up in there. Hey, but you don't think, you know. Well, we see, she. I don't know. The industry must have really broke her spirit. She talking about getting plastic surgery, get her lipo took. I like to see how it comes out and so forth like that. Did did she do an episode? I tell you, I am so overloaded, you know, as I'm planning to stay as a black parent. Kick off 2015 and do check the footage. Um, go to the Pinterest board, STE, black parent. And um, definitely, you know, um, come in the mid-review of this here that y'all know. Founder of the State of Black Parents. Um, so with Countess Vaughn, we'll see how this goes for us this season. She seems like she's, you know, she's, out, I guess, about being always down to earth. I didn't care much for the Parkers, and I know it was a high ratio. I just did not care. You just ain't catch my tune. Um, she used to sing a lot, and, um, you know, 
we see how she go forward this year. So let me get to the one. I was uh, an extra, okay, in this movie here called A Good Man is Hard to Find. So I'm just telling this here. So I don't even think many people are going to watch this here or what. But I know it comes on TV one a lot. Um, so you'll see me like going up to the altar and stuff like that. In a film, and it was filmed in Baton Rouge. And Goldie Hawn, oh my goodness, she was, she was thin. Um, I, it, it's kind of, I, I, you know, guess you don't really tattoo on how much personality, but she is over the limit, fucking bougie. She is so bougie that she, she, she need to be like, oh. Like, it's what, you know, I like, I could take you if you bougie and tending your business, because, you know, I, I could be there. You know, if I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to be bothered. But she bougie to where she go out the way to let you know that you ain't shit or she don't think that you shit. I, I don't see Golden going to get on my nerves like Shante on R&B Divas real. Like, she going to be worse than Shante. Um, Goldie. She said all this work I did, like, you have to go get a master's for acting, and it's an industry where you still have to do uh, social development. <laughs> um, you ain't got a master's degree for acting, and you can't, shouldn't you be building up your network then? You should be in some independent films, or maybe you're too proud. Why you can't go get a job at a call center? Um, I, I don't get with these people that while they acting, make sure your house is paid off cash. And with Paula J, she should at least got her a shotgun because you was paying, you was supporting actresses. Like, come on, it's a million people going to be actors and actresses and audition. It's only so many movies that people are paying attention to, and that's the reason how so few movies are able to be successful. I mean, everybody ain't. It's not. It's not like back in the even eighties when everybody would go to the movies. Like everybody had a break to. You know, have, you know, somebody, some teenager even watch their child when they go to the movies. Um, back up in the 80s, everybody was going to the movies. Like, now, are you serious? You have to make your movies, you know, I don't know how Netflix play, but find you in somebody independent filming for that. Some independent film, you know, do some part-time promotional modeling. You know, there is promotional model work that pays... Thirteen, twelve, ten dollars an hour. It pays you a, you know, pay you a few dollars over minimum wage, and your portfolio fits it all. You know, um, you know. She said she was black, Bob, but I don't. You know, I'm talking, I'm talking back to Paul J. But let me see, I'm Goldie. I didn't like the show Girlfriends Neither, okay? I, did, I didn't like that show. You know, I guess y'all gonna be like, girl, you ain't like none of I showed up. I don't like everything everybody else like, okay? But I'm definitely looking forward to tuning in to Hollywood Diva, uh, the interest of this show. Um, so, yeah, see, it's natural beauty, baby. This is art. This is art. Um, so, we also have, who's the other person? Elise Nia, she's from uh, Memphis, and um, she she is really yeah. Oh gosh, I tell you, to be an actor, you got to be bipolar, sociopath. You got to be a hidden psychopath. Ooh, so many people when they get on these reality shows, be like, okay, are you acting? Was you called to be in this role, or is this really you? You getting a chance to show off? So at least Nia, she got, you know, looks good, never had kids, but you know, probably one of those people, you know. I'm sure she didn't get like, like she was telling, trying to tell Paul J about her advice. She probably didn't, didn't, didn't got some babies under the table, whatever, whatever the way. But if, and she was like, I'm a triple threat. And like, the, the, the main black person that would be casted for movies is Tyler Perry. And who else? Uh, David Tabor, David Talbert have stage plays, and I love stage plays. Okay, so I ain't gonna let nobody ever discredit that. Um, 
I mean, uh, what other movies are you playing? Because the main thing I've been seeing in movies that look like The Matrix, movies that... I don't know, Stephen King ain't making no movie. And I, I can't even think of a character she would play instead of what? A, a, a super back supporting actress? Uh, so... And did I name everybody? So the restaurant they was at, um, they met there. I'm like, TV One, they could have at least got some chicken wings or something off the menu. I know y'all could afford it, because I'm sure, that show, all this time, y'all should have been able to wheel in sponsors just by saying TV One, like, automatically. You could should easily get sponsors, promotional giveaways. I mean, I'm sure that restaurant should have at least been offering, I mean... This show is going to be a hit. So that restaurant should have had some food on it too. So whatever the name of that restaurant, you ain't going to have bougie. You know what I'm saying? You could have got some, you know, shy people that have some money that you're like, okay, I, I get that place a sample. I have my meat in there. But look, I think, you know, y'all didn't give and take. You know, y'all could have got more. I don't even know if that's a black-owned restaurant while I'm talking there. <sighs> whatever. But now it's black-owned, we'll come back and I'll I criticize back of it on that. But... Uh, I, I would sure like to see, you know, them eating something, even if it's just some bread and something, you know, sitting at a table, a nice restaurant, I don't care if it's a poor restaurant, you like, you need to be eating something, even if it's a cup of fruit, you know, and I like fruit is fruit, that would have been interesting, so I'm looking forward to the season, oh yeah, Lisa Wu from uh, Housewives of Atlanta, I don't know what the deal is, but this is what I Heard. This is what I heard. Someone telling me that it's all into these, you know, up to date shows and stuff like that. Me, I'm kind of like a, you know, I hear about you across the headlines, maybe. I may tune into your show, whatever, like that. But it was saying something like Lisa Wu was somewhat lying about her life. That's why she got kicked off of Housewives of Atlanta. She didn't say that on, um, on this here, uh, you know, see, she was saying all these movies she did in credits. I don't know what to say. She was married to Keith, uh, Keith Sweat, Keith Sweat Bougie. I done had people, co-workers, personally tell me about his behavior. And it's like, dang, you know when you get the same story from people that don't know each other at different jobs? It's like, ooh. Um, so Lisa Wu, you know, it's like she's coming in to... Uh, you know, she she has a portfolio just from being on Housewives of Atlanta, but if she's at a request, what she could do. Ah! Uh -huh. So, like, she come on and says she's a black actress, but all I seen was Korean family on Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, gosh. Being another Kim on Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, gosh. I tell you, reality shows are very interesting, um... Personalities, social studies, that's what it is, social studies. So I'll talk to y'all later, tune in for the next videos.